Hi everyone, it's Marsha at Twin Flame Reconnection. The energies are intensifying and I've been noticing how swiftly things are falling apart and also how fast things are coming up these days. It's like all these things that we have not dealt with are being stacked upon each other and as soon as you work through one thing the next thing comes and the next thing comes and it almost feels like we're in this time squeeze that we need to get things done so I've been noticing it especially in relationships and not just relationships with friends and family but also in relations with how do you relate to money or finances and but also things that are connected to deep root issues like your worthiness am i worthy of doing this uh am i worthy of love even and you might feel scattered because so many things are coming at you at once you don't know how to prioritize what needs my attention first which thing stirs the most fear deep within me and does that mean I'm going to deal with that one first or am I going to try and skirt around it and deal with something else and um, you might even get into a state of panic because you know you have to deal with things you're an adult whether you're on your own or you have a family or you're a single parent you need to deal with these things and you might even want to break down and cry or maybe you don't have any more tears and you just feel numb you don't you don't feel anymore so how are you ever going to feel love right so it's hard when everything comes at you at once it's hard to pause it's hard to prioritize and we tend to get up in our heads where it just goes like, I need to do something, you know, and then in the end you don't do anything. And it's it's tough when you feel, when you are in this situation, that it's tough not to feel, to go back to your old ways and feel like everybody's out to get me or why is this happening to me? Why is my life falling apart, basically? Well, it's falling apart for you, <laughs> maybe you don't want to hear it, but it's falling apart for you uh, because your soul doesn't want the karmic living anymore. It wants you to get serious about this ascension journey you're on, or maybe you haven't started really, but you know something is going on and you feel prompted or nudged to do something, but you're not sure what. Well, a twin frame reconnection, we know what, because you need to engage your light body. And let me tell you, first of all, you are not alone. You have your twin flame within you who loves you. And you have your higher self, you have your soul, you have a whole team that is there for you. And all you need to do is get your new light body up and running to make those higher connections and to move more smooth through this ascension. So I share a little bit of what happened with me. So it was relationships all the way. It was my father who is 75. It was my child. It was with friends. And in all the situations, either defiance came up or fear, anxiety. So with my father, he was being defiant. He was being like a teenager and giving me big mouth, really, like he was my child and telling me to be quiet um, in my own house. And I nearly send him to his room, honestly, and he doesn't even live here. So, so that doesn't make any sense. But... Uh, it was hard. It was hard to break eye contact, to look away, to walk away, to get myself out of the situation as quickly as I could. 
and not engage in the conflict he tried to stir. So then a few days later, my child, who is almost a teenager, starts acting out as well, like crying and doing things that she's not supposed to be doing because she's not an adult. And she got herself in a bit of a pickle, shall we say. And um, when her father and I found out, yeah, I kind of lost it at first, but it literally broke my heart. That's how it felt. It broke my heart to see her trying to hide these things from me and not be honest with me because I thought I raised her differently, right? So you feel like you fail like a parent. You feel like everything you've tried to do differently from your parents still ending up with the same result. So we had to make her apologize in this situation with the people involved and we disciplined her and then she went on her way because it was her weekend with her dad. And then something started for me. So I started to break down. I started to panic. I had anxiety take over my body. I thought, where's this fear coming from? And I knew it was like deep embedded root issues that I was going through. And I just wanted to lay in my bed and cry. So I did that for maybe two hours to get it out of my system. And then slowly I was able to move a little bit more, get a like a better view from it. And then I started to realize that it was something that triggered, that her situation triggered my things from my childhood that I thought was dealt with. Um, but guess what? When we're on the ascension journey, we're going in, in cycles. So it's like a spiral and we go back again. And then maybe you touch a little bit of the same thing, but... A different aspect of it and that is what I was going through and then I realized well I work through the fear I not only work through it I had it removed but the thing that was triggering was that I never felt that I could speak what was in my heart or in my mind and that I never felt safe to express myself growing up in different situations. So once I realized that, I could literally feel it being pulled out of my body behind my liver. And it felt like that part of my body can breathe again. Your body can breathe in different way. Yes, it can. So that's one of the most magnificent things with your new light body is that you breathe with different parts and not just your mouth and your nose. So if you're experiencing a hard time or feeling that the world is collapsing on you, know that you're not alone and take it a step further and come and join us with one of Patricia's classes and then I will see you there. Or even better, have a one-on-one -on -one session with me and click on the link below. And I will see you there. Because what better for someone to help you who is going through and has been going through similar things and can help you on the next um, leg of your journey and get this ascension moving. So for now, uh, take care. You're not alone. We are here and I hope to see you and speak to you.